hunting and trapping, it's it's in my blood. I always do it no matter what. It's about the only the only way I know. My name is Brandon Johnson. I'm from Northeast Ohio, and I'm a full-time trapper. I, I do nuisance work in the summer and fur trap in the winter, and I've been in business for the past 12 years. I also do a lot of hunting in my free time. I've been hunting since I was five. I really enjoy it. Anytime I'm not trapping or working, I'm in the woods doing something. What we got here, we're in this piece of timber here. Bedding area up here. We got a road up here, road back behind you there, and most of the deer bedding here, or the bedding here, it's, it kind of funnels down here, so we're expecting from coming that way or behind us. <coughs> Hunting, it's a way of life to me. It's not, it's not something I just do every once in a while. I'm pretty much always thinking about it. I'm always doing something in the woods, preparing for something. Have fun. Which one? Should I use that one? Thicker, whatever matching, whatever color you want. My business is nuisance animal removal. Some people don't know what that is. It's, it mostly is animals that are causing damage to people's house or property. Raccoons tearing people's house apart. There's a big list. It goes on and on. We do a lot of bat work and any kind of critter that's causing damage. A lot of squirrels this time of year are going in people's attics that we have to take care of. We have to catch them and then repair the holes. Right. I don't want up there. No, I know. Throw something up there and that will help. A lot of times I catch a squirrel at someone's house and then they're still hearing stuff on huh? Squirrels are coming in right here. We have the traps right here. Well, one of the craziest things I've got into, we had a raccoon, the people were out of town, and it tore apart their house. It destroyed everything. It, it was a mess. They, I thought it was out of there. Checked the whole house, didn't find anything. They called me back in the middle of the night, and the thing was in their mattress. It was burrowed up in there. We had to take the whole thing out of there and get rid of it. but. Those people were pretty freaked out. I don't think they went back in their house for a couple weeks. <laughs> fur trapping and nuisance are completely different. In the winter, when I'm fur trapping up in Ohio, I'm mostly doing raccoons and mink and uh, muskrats. I also go to Texas sometimes on big ranches and take care of coyotes and bobcats, killing livestock and, and uh, deer on deer farms. We're here down in Alabama. First canine set of the day we checked, we got a nice bobcat. Um, the set we had was pretty much just a dirt hole. We had some cat urine there. I think I had cat collector in this one um, and a chunk of beaver meat. But good way to start the morning. Gotta love catching them cats. We got 40 coon, just under 40 rats. We're running a lake. I had about 80 dog proofs on that. And then we were running a big rat swamp. Rat catch was a little down, but good start to the season. We're just going to keep stacking more fur up. We're trying to catch 50, 60 a day, and some people would think that's, that's sick and crazy that we're killing that many animals, but nowadays there's barely anybody trapping. There's way more animals than there needs to be, and we're actually helping the population. Hunting and trapping has always been a part of my life, and it's, it's just a it's in my blood and I, I love getting kids and new people into the sport and just seeing them light up about it and how, how exciting it is. Some people, they go from not liking it because they just don't understand what it is. Then they ta you take them out and they actually see what it is and it just changes the whole thing and changes their whole life.